And so, um, let's see how I'm going to do this. Oh, these are like those games when you were a kid. Similar to like, you had to go through a maze, but. This so here you go. Here's one, here's two, here's. Uh oh, I gotta try to get five down there and four changed. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Want me to start it? Yeah, you oh, go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I guess I'm not very good at this. Oh, you got that one. Here we go. So you got tons, tons of different critters. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. So. Well, 
the only move I can make is this one. Yep. This one has to go there. If it covers up a, a value, a, a property value, you then get to take that. Now, if it's in the bank, you get to take it, or if this, if somebody owns it, you get to steal it. And then, if somebody lands on it, you're going to own rent. Now, somebody could then write, do a word here, and then they would be able to steal it back from you. So you, you're trying to get as many of the properties you can. The number that's on the that's added, this is seven, is the number that you must then move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you'd have a chance card, you pick it up. Chance card, this one says, go to jail, directly to jail, without pass and go, so. You're in jail. And then the game ends when no more words, or the, there's no more letters left. And then at the end, so the deck of cards, wood, wooden pegs, does he have a cabin in the woods? Very nice. Good. Hanging up on the wall. You're not Perfect. playing. And then when you're you know, playing, sit it down, pick it up, play, and then put it, put it back as it was tomorrow. That's very nice. What's the... Uh, All the... Um, what's the price for you? $60 retail. Yeah, mm -hmm. Great quality, though. And, and each comes with a deck of cards. And then that deck is for the deck of cards. And this game, I worked with a game design firm in, uh, they're based in Brooklyn, New York. Principal Greg is a professor of game design at NYU. And I told him that I wanted to do this theme that was about family and gatherings. And we come up with Picnic Panic. And it's a cooperative game. The kids, um, you know, work as a group to go around the board, and they are working to collect all the things they need to throw an awesome backyard cookout. And, you know, you're rolling and rolling. If you roll a six, your guests move closer. And your whole goal is to get all the things you need and you're working together so everybody will start you know you just start the youngest rolls first and you just start fan out now i just rolled a four and i landed on a shortcut if you land on a shortcut you must take it now sometimes that could be great what if i was this is what if this is the last card to get everybody would be sharing like oh great you're going to be getting our friends um but this one is surrounded by shortcuts and if this is the last one and you land here and you're forced to swing here, then you can start like all over again. Um, but um, yeah, we play tested it with one of the local toy stores where I am, which is in Washington, D.C., which is Labyrinth uh, Puzzles and Games.